I've found that there are large social class differences in where top students attend, even though they're similarly well prepared. And that the source of that difference in where they attend is where they apply. There are large application differences. There are several reasons why top students, even though they're equally well prepared, apply to different institutions. The first is that when they turn to their schools, they receive not very good guidance for a student of their caliber about college options that would match their academic abilities. Counselors tend to know about the colleges that the typical graduates of their high school attend, but not necessarily what would be a good match for top students. So without good high school guidance, students have to rely on their families, and that allows social class to play a very large role. In a previous book, a uh, co-author and I looked at who applies to elite colleges, who gets admitted, and then what happens to them once they enroll. So for this book, I really wanted to look at all those other high achievers that don't apply to elite colleges and don't end up there. I wanted to know what happens to them and where they enroll. So we chose valedictorians as a population to study because they are top students. They've done the best they possibly can at the public high schools that we've provided them with. And they also score quite highly on standardized tests. I believe 50% of my valedictorians were in the top 5% of all SAT test takers. So I identified valedictorians from five states. I surveyed 900 of them and then I interviewed 55 of them, asking them questions about their college choice process. Parents from less affluent backgrounds may be surprised to know just how much these top colleges want to enroll their child. And that studies show time and time again that children that do enroll in these top colleges thrive. Uh, they're challenged. They have tremendous resources at these colleges. They're more likely to graduate. They're more likely to go on to graduate school. They're more likely to enjoy higher earnings later in life. So I would encourage parents to not stop a child from applying, let them apply, see what the financial aid offer is, and then make your decision. So this book shows that even top students, even when students have done all the right things in school, they've prepared, they've thrived, they've scored well, they've gotten great grades, that social class is still able to have an impact. So if even top students aren't able to enroll in universities that match their academic ability, it really says something about our college guidance system in general. If they can't make it to these top schools, what about everyone else? It just shows that we really need to improve the way that students and families get information about making the transition from high school to college. Mm -hmm.